you know, in CSS, the transform property is this incredibly powerful tool that lets us create amazing animations, realistic 3D effects, and so many cool designs. But here's the thing. To really control these transformations the way we want, we need some extra properties working alongside Transform. And today we're diving deeper. In this video, we're going to explore Transform Origin, Transform Box, Transform Style, Perspective, and Backface Visibility. These are the properties that will take your 2D and 3D effects from good to absolutely stunning using just HTML and CSS. Let me walk you through each one step by step. Hey there, I'm a front-end developer who loves breaking down complex concepts into buildable steps, and hitting like and subscribing helps me create more content like this. Let's start with perspective. Here I have two elements, a parent div and a box inside it. When I use transform rotate x 180 degrees, the box flips completely upside down along the x axis. If I change that to 60 degrees, the box tilts but honestly, it still looks pretty flat to me. Now watch what happens when I add a perspective value of 800 pixels to the parent. Suddenly the box looks like it's actually rotating in real 3D space. And if I make the perspective smaller, say 100 pixels, the effect becomes much more dramatic and stretched. So here's what I want you to remember. Smaller perspective values give you stronger, more intense 3D effects, while larger values make everything softer and more subtle. Now let's talk about Transform Origin. By default, it's set to center, so writing Transform Origin Center doesn't really change anything. But we can set it to other values, like top, bottom, left, right, or even give exact pixel or percentage values. For example, if I set it to top left, the box sticks to that corner, and when I rotate it, the entire rotation happens around that specific point. If I change it to bottom right, now it rotates around the bottom right corner instead. Let me show you the real magic here. I'll add a hover effect with transform rotate 45 degrees and transform origin center. The box rotates around its center point, exactly as you'd expect. But if I change that to top left, watch how the entire rotation behavior changes. Now it's spinning around that top left corner instead. Now let's look at perspective origin. First, I set perspective 800 pixels on the parent div and use perspective origin center. It looks the same because center is the default. Remember, perspective origin is always applied to the parent element, and it works together with the perspective value. Even if I remove the transform from the box, the effect still works because the parent has perspective set. When we use both perspective on the parent and transform on the child, the element looks much more spread out in 3D space. For example, if I set perspective origin to top, the box looks like we're viewing it from above. Without it, the box appears a bit lower. If I set it to bottom right, the entire viewpoint changes again. And when I rotate the box, you can really see the difference it makes. Let's talk about transform style now. This property is applied to the parent element, and by default, its value is flat, meaning no 3D effect is visible. But if I change it to preserve 3D, the box suddenly looks truly 3D, and part of it even extends outside the parent div. To make this 3D effect clearer, I'll add transform rotate Y 30 degree to the parent. I can also set the parent's background to transparent and add a border, so the 3D view is easier to see. If I inspect the box and rotate it, you'll notice it rotates smoothly in 3D along the x-axis. We can also use transform origin here, for example, top center. So the box rotates around that specific point. And if I give the parent div a background color, the 3D rotation becomes even more visible. To create this kind of 3D card effect, we're only using CSS transform properties like perspective, translate, and rotate. On Hover, I add Translate 3D to make the box pop out of the card. In Translate 3D, I set the values like this, X 0%, Y minus 30%, Z minus 100 pixels. This gives the card that smooth, realistic 3D hover effect that feels so satisfying. Now let's look at backface visibility. First, I create a simple HTML setup with a scene div, inside it a flipper div, and two child divs with classes face front and face back. By default, backface visibility is set to visible, which means the back text shows on both sides. On the front, it looks upside down and is really hard to read. 
but if I set back face visibility hidden on the face class, the front text shows clearly while the back text stays hidden until we actually flip it. To make this work as a proper 3D flip effect, don't forget to set the parent div with perspective and transform style preserve 3D. Finally, let's talk about transform box. This property is mainly used with SVG elements. If you want to learn more about SVGs, we have a dedicated video for that. For example, in an SVG rectangle, if I set transform box view box, the animation is applied to the entire SVG canvas. But if I set transform box, fill box, the animation is applied relative to the element's own bounding box, which often gives us the behavior we actually want. So to recap what we built together, depth lives on the parent, while the actual transform stays on the child. Smaller perspective values give us stronger depth, larger values make it softer. We control the pivot with transform origin, aim the camera with perspective origin. We keep child depth alive with preserve 3D, hide mirrored backs for clean flips, and with SVG, we choose the right box so rotations use the coordinates we intended from the start. Which part of building this together helped the most today? Getting the pivot point right, moving the camera around, or finally fixing that SVG rotation? Let me know in the comments which step clicked for you. Subscribe to join me for the next build, and I'll see you in the next video.